Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this short episode, I'll show you tips and tricks in Microsoft Forms. So we'll do it fast, and this is based on uh, the assumption that you know it, and you just want to see new things. So we're in Microsoft Forms. We will create a form. First tip is actually we can add all of the questions, a choice, text, rating, date, ranking, like our uploading files for externals and net promoted in a section. Section actually um, organize the, the questions in uh, specific pages. Uh, so this is this. When we choose a choice, then we can enter the values one by one. See, we can enter one by one. But if I have lots of uh, values, it, it would take lots of time. So what I can do is actually, I'll delete this and I will go to Excel where I have the list of countries. I'll do Control C and go to the first column and just paste it. And ba boom, I see all of the 195 countries here. So that's the tip. Next tip is actually uh, using um, pictures and videos. So this is the survey name. So I could call this form one and also in the question. So in the, I could add to the title of the survey. Uh, I can upload an image from OneDrive or from the desktop or I can search here. So let's look for demo and it will find something that I can add and it's added to here. In the question, I can add either a picture or, or a video. So let's go here and okay, let's create a new name, new question. Choice see here so now I have the option of a image or a video so until now I added the picture so I can either copy and paste uh, a URL either from stream or from YouTube so let's go to YouTube and take the first video we can find Music. Okay, we're back. Oops. And I'll paste this. Press add. And now we have the, the picture. Or the video. Uh, next tip. Okay. So uh, when we go to the share button we can this define if we want to share it only with people in the organization, only specific people. Here we can enter the, the names of the people and we can copy it. Or, and the third option is anyone, that means it can be external. Um, what we could do in addition is because this link is very long, we can put, click the shorten URL and then when we copy it, it will just show us something very short. Let's look. So you see this is the, the length of the form instead of the other one. Okay, let, let me see. Let's close everything. Um, let's go on. Okay, uh, in the sharing we have uh, additional options. One is to, to give a um, possibility to other users to duplicate uh, or create based on this uh, survey. So if we copy this, just do copy and paste it somewhere else, the new user will be able actually, if I paste it, he will have a button here to duplicate it and then he can work on it. Okay, third option is 
actually the possibility that additional person can actually uh, collaborate on this specific form so I click this and then I can choose uh, what type of user it is and uh, if I choose a uh, copy and I'll go to the this URL so this person other user will be able actually to edit okay in this case it's let me see so this user currently is not logged in but he will be able to uh, edit the form okay we have the theme here where we can choose the background if we don't like any of these we can add something that we uh, want to next one is actually uh, the language so in the three dots we have the settings and we have the multilingual by default it gives the one language but we can add additional languages so for instance we I can add a uh, German and I can add a uh, French and now what will happen is if I click here in the language it will open the questions and I can put the name in German so because I don't speak German I will just write a DE form and here I could uh, say a, a question and I can give the name for each value okay just for the example okay it's a bit stuck let's go back uh, the idea is um, that same thing I would do for French so in this example what will happen is that the user based on his browser language uh, that there will be a drop down here either uh, by default it will go to the language of the browser or uh, he could choose so in this case you see I chose the German so I have the values and, and questions in German I just entered and if it's French I just put the answers in French okay what next um, when we add a, a question text question then we have now the possibility not only to put a plain text we if we mark it we have the possibility to make it bold it, italic underline to change the color to change the size to put bullets numbers and um, so this is new and uh, so we can use it um, a new feature that just came out if we go to the home page of the form and we go to all my forms I have a new button which is called the new collection a new collection is a possibility like a folder where you can uh, put all of your files to the, all of the surveys together or forms so let, let's just call this HR HR exist create another one and all of these forms I either can drag or I can click the three dots and uh, I can move it to HR1 and, uh, and then you can arrange everything so it's uh, organized you'll see here okay next thing is the possibility to create the form from excel so if i go to the app launcher and choose excel i can create a an excel and under insert i'll have create create forms a new form and it actually stores all of the information in the Excel so 
that's this thing. Next thing is in the three dots we have settings. So we can choose here if it will be for anyone or only people in the organization or specific people. You can choose if the it will record the, the names of the users or if it will not and also if uh, each user can respond only once. Here you can define in addition the start date, the end date, if you want the answers to be shuffled, meaning each time a different order. If you have enough sec sections, you will also have the possibility to show the progress bar. You can customize the answer and we can also get response uh, in this section. Um, okay, so this is most of the information. Hope you learned something. Have a good day and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Goodbye.